Good morning, folks. Welcome back. Day number what we on, love? You don't know. Uh, Day number eight? Nine? Eight? Eight? Friday to Friday. Eight. I should have planned this before I started, should I? I've not wasted 20 seconds of your time. Sorry. Morning, folks. Folk X. My name's Dede. The tip smacker. Where did that come from? Why the tip smacker? I don't know. It was a name I got from ages ago and it just stuck. Tip smacker. I used to always slap a tip. So there you go. Um, we're on day number eight and today, first off, we're going to go and get some breakfast. Yesterday was a write off. Yesterday, Mrs. D was poorly sick. Uh, we did not leave. Well, we went to Batman Bar, which is back to back to our hotel, got some dinner, and then come straight back. That was it. Didn't do anything yesterday. She slept for about seven million hours. Hasn't she? Yeah. yeah. It was boring. Um, I can't help it. I was sick and other things. Yes. My back is in bits. My shoulders are in bits. And for some reason, I'm tired, even though I've edited two videos, managed to upload one. Copyright is kicking my little candy ass. Oh my. Stop touching my bum. I am, uh, all right, big candy ass then. I swear I'm sick of these copyright claims. Every video I put up, I'm getting copyright claims. And yesterday, I got one from Adobe Music. Was that what was that all about? So I had to change the entire track and then render it again and then upload it again. So I've got another one that needs to upload tonight and I'm recording this today. So yeah, right, waffle, done ish. What are we doing? I've not even waffle, I've not even told them what I'm doing on the waffle. We're going down for breakfast right now in the hotel. And I swear to God, if it's that fucking egg again, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing about it. Put some on my plate and eat it like a good little boy because I'm hungry. Uh, then did you like that? Did you like that? Was that, was that oh, fun? Stop it. Was that funny? <laughs> was that good? Yeah, I'm not putting anyway, because I'm hungry. Hungry. And then we're going to go up to the castell. Uh, and I've been asked a couple of times for a promenade walk with no commentary, so shut the <laughs> up, DD. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So, breakfast, walk up to the promenade, go to the castle, and. Mrs. D must be hungry too because she's already opening the door. Well, come on, get your ears out. Yeah, in. and then what we're going to do after that? This is the first time we've felt the heat in. Hey, it's not that warm. It's not seven million. Have we got everything? No. No? Not complicated. I can't jump these in a bit. I don't need to tell you seven million times what I'm doing. I'm going for some breakfast because I'm hungry. Like the cow. Oh yes, I'd like a plate, thanks baby. Yeah. I'll have a piece of that, because it looks like it. Not that massive fat piece though. This one? Yeah, that one. Is it bendy, that cheese? Yeah, yeah scrap that. Scrap that, I thought it was fair, it's clear enough. I'll have a piece of that. I'll have this humongous chunk of Kaysa de Tuff, Dankeschön. Chicken, ham, salam. A bit food. Oh, it's so good. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Some hard bread. Some hard bread. I might have like cheese on toast. Cheese sandwich. Is it? Cheese sandwich. Crap. Yummy. Cheese for breakfast. Yes. my breakfast yes i swear if i get a copyright claim again on this video i'm gonna go sick uh, mrs d's on bread as per because that's all she likes she's got a piece of turkish delight now i think turkish delight's absolutely rancid and 
what I don't like the majority of the time is that you don't like. So she's gonna try some. I wanna see you heave on camera because it's fucking disgusting stuff. I want to heave, I did enough of that yesterday. I know, but go on. It's just disgusting. Really? You don't find it that bad? My mum likes Tony's time. Turn. It's bloody awful. You like it? Huh? I'm glad you found something you actually like that's different. Right, different. It's weird. Bit like jelly. Yeah. But, uh, it's not bad. It's alright. I'm impressed. I'm glad you even actually tried it to be fair because I find turkey still like, absolutely disgusting. She's going for the full block. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, baby. Find something Mrs. D likes. Can we check some more? Yeah, it's only 995 lira of freaking kilo. You can keep it. Yeah, I'll find some cheaper like crackers. <laughs> no. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous? Do they have like different flavors? Yeah, loads of it. We'll take a box home. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. That's our hotel behind us. The green thing of jiggity bobs. Good morning. Yes, breakfast. No, thank you. Just had it. Good start. Uh, and we're going to do our promenade walk. We've just been to the chemist because Mrs. D's still not feeling too good. Don't know if she's entirely up for this walk, to be fair. But she seems to think she is. She's in good spirits. She she's is. doing it. She's, she's doing it. So, end up in a hospital, so what she's doing it. you are not going to hospital. Uh, I'll flip the camera around. I won't talk much. And you can see the promenade oh, from Migros near Blueport. All the way up to the marina. Music. I hate you. I do. Good morning. No, thank you. I believe you too. Free canoes. Free canoes on the golden feet. Yeah, you want to see today's rate from that? 41.5. Oh, Not very often get a chance to look at menu without someone coming asking you. Come in. Come on, Mrs. D. Did you ever play Assassin's Creed? Yeah. No. You're running through the town on Assassin's Creed, like, and people are shouting things at you. And it kind of reminds me of that. Oh, it's 
trying to tip something. Good grief. Alright. Yes, good morning. Morning. Yes. Come on, man, come on. Eat more chicken. Find the beach. Oh. It's lovely and quiet this time of morning, isn't it? So you get rid of all the lights running on. Morning. Oh, thank you. So if you want to look at my news, my God, you have to be quick. I actually know if the phone's going to last all the way up to the top because it's getting bloody hot. on the uh, seafront. His energy didn't last long, did it? Moonlight bar, same price, 
Singapore. You're right, I don't want to speak English. Yeah. Well, uh, I made a bit of a boo-boo where people completely misunderstood me. I'm going to say it now where people can hear me on me. I said, uh, I said there's a lot of foreigners in Turkey. People misinterpreted that. Is that the right word? Interpreted, misinterpreted, or is it misinterpreted? I don't know, but you understand. They thought I meant, like, I thought I was home and everyone else is a foreigner. But no man, I'm not in Turkey. I know I am the foreigner here. The foreigner here. What I meant was, there's a lot of foreigners relative to me, like Russians, Polish, Ukrainians, Pakistanis. Yeah. Um, they have said, which we spoke to a couple of Turkish people now that we've got quite friendly with, and they have said that um, there's a massive decline in Brits this year. You can understand why I really can't, because of the prices of stuff. Brits are cheap glasses. Brits want cheap and cheerful. Brits fellas don't have the turkey. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of Brits that won't come back. There's a fair few those said they would, but it seems like on the Turkish Facebook groups, a lot of people are saying that they won't return because they're getting ripped off and blah 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 blah. Oh, I think I said that if, uh, you know, they, they will try and overcharge you here and there and everywhere. You've just got to have your wits about you and just, they'll always rectify you. Yeah, just put the foot down. They'll always rectify it, but if they don't, you just turn around and say, all right, forget it, I'm, I'm going to go and get it somewhere else. Because, like I pointed out in my granddad's video, oh, it's not actually up that, I think it's up today in the granddad's video. They all sell the same stuff. In Turkey, you have like five shops that are different, and then the next block, it'd be five shops again that are the same as the previous five, and same again, and same again, and same again. So, you know, go and price things up first. Go and ask, how much is this? How much is this boat trip? And they'll go, 20 pounds. You go to the next one and say, how much is this boat trip? And they go, 20 pounds. You see, we say, offering 15 next door. I want it cheaper than that. And then they go, oh, 13 pounds. You go to the next one and say, they've just said 13 quid there. And they go, oh, 12 pounds. And you go, you know what, 12 quid. We'll say, I'll pay 12 quid. Hey, 12 quid, obviously good. Don't work all the time, but just sometimes. I mean, how much do we pay for the turtle bear? 18 quid. Yeah, 18 quid each in turtle bear. And the only inclusive boat trip that we didn't actually end up doing was 13 quid each. And there's people say that I'm talking rubbish because they paid 35 quid for the turtle bear one. Well, that's your fault for not doing your friggin' homework and having a look around first, isn't it? And uh, I did it on Mares Excursions. If you want to go and check it out, it's on there. M-A-R-E-S. Yeah, M-A-R-E-S, Excursions Mares. If you search for that, it'll take you straight to it, booking all online, in English. And uh, when, they, uh, when they get to your when you get to your hotel, they send you a WhatsApp message, and then they come out, they come out and take payment from your bike card at your hotel reception, and then pick you up from where you need to go. So yeah, Mara's excursions, that's where we booked it through. Cheapest chips. Um, the turtle, uh, turtle, the Turkish bath and the road trip, that was cheaper through Jet 2. So we booked them two through Jet 2. And then the Turkish bath one didn't turn up. So we went to the hotel and got it for 70 quid. 35 quid each. So there you go, excursions, Mara's. M-A-R-E-S, excursions, Mara's. Search for that, job's good. I did wonder. I did wonder. Oh, what? what is this? You know what I want to call it, Pumax? What is this? Oh, I'm on the trees. Right in front of the face off. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm stepping up you silly. Oh, that was nice. The missus was struggling at the back, so we took it up. The missus was struggling at the back, so we took it up. I'm going for you. A little loud on my phone call. Sorry. Could have carried this bad boy. Wait a minute. That one. I just want to buy a cheap bird if we can do it with Tom Flip one.
The marina, it's all signposted, it's signposted Bar Street and Castle and whatnot. I'm going to follow the walkway to the castle. This is another one, long ass video, man. I might speed it all up actually. It's probably the right time to do it's just not as long. Buzzing. Oh, I think that's where that cafe is up at the top of the steps. That's supposed to be dead nice. Picture, picture. Nice back, bro. Look at this on a bracelet. More touch up. Museum? Do you want to go in there? No. Canon? Oh, Canon. It's that. Oh, no. Oh, look, it's nice. No. Oh. Oh, it's nice. Sorry, this doesn't make entertaining content. Oh. Oh, I'm back. So, we're going in the museum, maybe. We're going in the museum. Yes, probably. I think this is it. Six euros each, 430 lira for two. Entrance. Artillery, iron. Ottoman period. Cannonball. Marble. Ottoman period. Yeah, I'm not going to do that all the way around. <laughs> Show you snippets of the castle. Storms from the Ottoman period. Cool. Eleven eighty eight to seventeen seventy four. That's immortal that has gone to eternal from temporary world. God may make happy spirit for the spirit of Hatish who died. Year eleven eighty eight. I don't get that. It says 1188 to 1774. He was not that old, bro. And that is that one. I won't read them all. Yeah, boy. But it's cool. Very cool. I was wrong. Sorry. Number one that I just read isn't that one. It is that one. Before thousands of people jump on me and go, you idiot, what's well, not that one? 
It was that one, my God. Oh, yes. question to ask. Who would Nick? His peepee. -pee. His peepee -pee must have been glued on. So it was interchangeable. Strange. interested in history like my missus being one of them which you know i respect that decision if you're not into it you're not into it but it just it fascinates me and when i look at really old items like mrs d <laughs> nothing it just uh it sends my imagination into overdrive and i wonder what what they have seen and been through and when they was actually made, who they was made by. It sends my imagination into overdrive and I find it absolutely fantastic. I find it fascinating. Like just a, something as simple as these clay pots. Just something as simple as clay pots. Like that one's clearly. Like they've just made them just for sure. Do you think? Yeah. Well, that one's clearly been on the seabed, you know, and I just think, I wonder what was actually in them, and I wonder if, like, say, for argument's sake, they have oil, olive oil in them, if the olive oil was different to the olive oil we have now, how was it different? Yeah, it just sends my, my mind into overdrive. I wonder what alcohol was like back then, I wonder if it was different to what it is now, and obviously it will be different, but how different? Stamps like that. Who it was that actually put them on. And how important them stamps were. Just amazes me. Off the top of me in here. Bro. Feet and statue and stuff. Holland Alter. Right, after that lovely stroll around the castle, as long as we're in there about half an hour, yeah, it'll take long, the castle or the museum, only for two separate things or not.
we was asked where the castle was. And I was like, it's just down there, you walk past it. And Mrs. went, that's the museum. I was like, oh, my father would the same thing. So, whatever. But when you leave the castle, you see signs for Panorama Cafe. So I said to Mrs. Do you want to go and get a drink in the, oh, it's the Panorama restaurant, actually. Yeah. Do you want to go and get a drink in the Panorama restaurant? Yeah. A little bit more expensive than a normal cafe, but we'll go and get a cold drink for cool down a little bit. Got some shade. We'll come here for the views. It's like I'm taking a picture of the umbrella, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> got an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. That's gorgeous. What a hot. still not feeling too well so we have got the dolmish back and we've decided to give the pool a whirl she's been in the pool when i wasn't feeling too well she's come down on her own and now i'm going to give it a go but from mrs d's reaction it looked bloody freezing 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 colder than the sea, colder than the sea. sugar yeah it's a good job it's bloody boiling in it and it's a good job you can't smell the smell that's radiating from me. These. Smell the chlorine. Really need some antiperspirant deodorant. Oh my, the body spray this all over here just doesn't cut it. It's great. But yeah, we've got the entire pool to ourselves. It's, uh, it's mint. I mean, this hotel is advertised as a beach hotel. They have got a private beach and that's always chocker, always rammed. Um, but the pool, absolutely nobody here it's a beautiful little pool in it nice but now it's in the shade. yeah nice little pool just for us and the pool itself is in the shade uh the sun lounges aren't i think i'm gonna pop the umbrella down because i need to get some uh sun to my flat belly because my belly's still white and i've been here a week now I'm still, I'm still quite. Anyway, it's going to be a long video, this. Sugar. Yeah, I'm going to get in the pool and uh, cool off because it's bloody boiling. <laughs> Fuck. 
call it that, love. Oh, oh. oh baby. Yeah? It is freezing. <laughs> that water. I told you. Oh. 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 Oh, oh shiver my timbers. Oh, baby. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Ready? Best way to kill you said that, man. The titties are on fire, man. The titties are burning. <laughs> we have friends. She's got our bundle. Here. Could she? <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. Right. This is day does not look so good. Huh. You look poorly. Ratings of bread. Been to Mangal Kifi and she's ordered chicken breast and rice because the belly's still not so good. And the first thing they come out with is bread and dips, and it's probably the cheapest place in it. It was only 200 and 290 lira for this, and then her meal that I'll show you when it comes and a drink. And my Iskander has just arrived with onion rings and Coca Cola. How much did it cost me? 495 or something, which is quite expensive. It's 12 quid, but 
I'm hoping it's going to be good. I've never tried this before. Proper Turkish food, supposedly, from Allah. First one on the menu. Let's go. Food review with Dida. Oh, can't be trying an onion ring. It's an onion ring. A gob. What's the uh, sauce? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I've just tried it with an onion. You know this conversation we had earlier when you was like, well, I've not really stuck my face with any Turkish cuisine to make me pool this time. Still don't know what it is. I don't know. It's like some kind of yogurt, cheesy yogurty thing. That. And yeah, if I'm ill after this, then you know what? That looks like some good dominant meat or that. Oh. Oh, that's well done. Got like a tomato with sauce on top of it. I don't know what's underneath it though. I don't know what that is. Oh, I wish you could try it. Do you want to try it? I don't want to risk it, love. Not with how good. fatty, but like greasy and stuff it looks. Yeah, that is ultimate grease, that is good. That is... Oh, man. That is so good, and I have no idea what it is. All I know is that, don't I Rating? Mm. I've, got to, I've got to give that a 9.5 out of 10. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, you've got two days left to give something a 10 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> oh I have. Oh, boom. I did get rid of that. I don't spit through it. I've got to it. I don't spit food out ever, but fuck me. What was it? The chilli. I won't be eating it at all out of Fucking dude. That is part of the certain brand thing. That's hot. Fucking dude, that's Ready? Shit a brick. That's why they give you the yoghurt. Maybe. It's not working. Oh, just lost a point five for that chilling. Turn it off, man. That's fucking off. Okay, Mrs. D's food has arrived. I've already eaten back. It was absolutely gorgeous, but that chilli, that chilli can go to hell and back. She's on chicken and rice to try and hopefully help chill her belly out a little bit. What are you after? Tempany from Connecticut. What's this called? Tabuk Goose. Goo. Goo. Tabuk Goose. Something like that. It's spelled Tabuk Gogus, but you don't pronounce the middle G. He uh, said it's something like boobs, so boobs. I don't know. Goo. Tabuk Goose. Basically chicken breast with rice. Pretty good for plain chicken. Yes? Mm. Ratings out of 10 for plain chicken breast and rice. Six. So it's better than the chicken sandwich? Mm. It's better than the chicken sandwich. Yeah, because it's got a bit more flavour to the chicken. Yeah. I'm just worried because making sure that it's cooked properly. You can't not cook a piece of chicken that thin properly. No, I know. Good chefs. I don't think Mrs D wants to be recorded. I think she wants to be left alone. It's juicy. It's juicy? Really? That's good. Mega cola. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy five lira to Mega Cola. Alright, we're back in bed. Mrs. needs a nap. 
I'm going to watch some Lucifer. I'm probably not myself. Hopefully, we're going to get out for qualifying at five o'clock. Fingers crossed. And then we have been dragged into next door for tea. We was obviously... What's the word I'm looking for? That's... Uh, what's it called? Intoxicated. We've cut... My arms really are still white. Yep. I've been sunbathing on my belly to try and get some colour into my chest. Because I'm like... Oh, you can see I'm red though. Yes. You can see white, red, white. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for this. Must have been intoxicated when we made a deal with the guy outside of the uh, restaurant hotel next door up to us. And he said he has the best steaks in town. And I was like, everyone has the best steaks in town. They all said the same thing. And he went, nope, if my steak's not the best, you get your money back. I said, well, I'm going to lie to you and tell you it's not because I want some free steak. He went, no, you have to be honest and I'll be honest. We have the best steaks in town. I'm like, right, all right. Promise you'll come in. Right, we'll come in. Whatever. And I walked past him and I said, we'll come in tomorrow. He went, no, you said today. I've got your table today. I was like, right, we'll come in today then. So you're going to see what the uh, food is like at Astley. A-S-L-I in it. Astley. He has been mithering us all, all week, to be fair. Like, we have been rejecting him four times a day for the last eight days. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go in there. A little bit pricier. So it better be good. Chips. But we're going to have a nap. And um, hopefully get up for qualifying at five and then go in there for tea. I'm trying to not waffle too much because this morning's was quite long. So it could be a real long vlog. Excuse me. I'm not going to lie. My lips are still on fire. From that chilli. They're still burning. My mouth's all right now, but my lips there and there. Still burning. That chilli was no joke. Seriously. That bad? That bad. I wish you would have tried it. Oh, yeah, could you imagine with my belly? Uh, well, I know, that's what I mean. But it, it's like he dipped it in fucking acid. It's like an acid chilli. He didn't look very acid, or did he? Yeah, he might have done. Let's kill this tourist bitch. Acid. Eat that bitch. But yeah, the rest of it was absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, tasty meal, that. Anyway, stop waffling. Hopefully. F1. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll find somewhere that's got it on. And then I slept for tea. Early night. Because Mrs. D's still not good. Still not good. Good day tomorrow, though. You better be good for tomorrow. Okay, speak to you soon. Right, folks. A uh, couple of things. Didn't record in the last place. It was next door to us where the guys have been marvelling us to go for the last eight days. It's usually empty. So I said to the missus, because she's still not feeling so good, I will just go like this. I'm still in my swim shorts and my vest from earlier on. I said, I'll go like this. Uh, there's never anyone in. Obviously. Got there. It was full. Full of smartly dressed people. And I rocked up, rocked up at a nice restaurant dressed like a chav. King Chavamondo. You know what I mean? No best. Come to 1335, 1331. No, five. You said 13. Yeah, 1335 to come to. And that was £31 on the Revolut card, which is decent, I suppose. But uh, we're not putting Mrs D on camera because she's not so good. Still, fingers crossed she's better tomorrow because we have a big, excuse me, really fun day tomorrow planned. And she needs to be in tip-top condition, so fingers crossed. So, it's an early night again for us. I am... Can you get in bed and watch Lucifer while the missus snores red off? Because as soon as I read it's pillow, she can't go to sleep, I reckon. Hopefully she's better in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you like it, then you're mad. Because I want to watch this far. <laughs>